This video is about the structure of 2-chlorocyclohexanone, otherwise known as 2-chlorocyclohexan-1-ON. There are 17 sigma bonds in this structure seen here between this carbon and that carbon. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then one of these is going to be a sigma bond. The other is going to be a pi bond. We'll talk about that later. So that's 7. This is 8. Then these carbons have hydrogens coming up off of them. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 total. There is one pi bond, as aforementioned, that is going to be the other bond in this double bond. One is sigma, one is pi. The hybridization of the carbons in the ring, five of them are going to be sp3, because they all have single bonds. The sp2 is a double bonded carbon. The classifications of the carbon, we don't have CH3 groups. That means we don't have methyl groups. That's generally a structure with something coming off of it and then from that structure, you have like three hydrogens. We don't have that here. Instead, we have a CH2. These are going to be our CH2 groups. Uh, there's two hydrogens coming up off of those. The CH1 group is going to be here because it has a carbon here, carbon here, and a chlorine here. There's only one spot for it to bond to a hydrogen, so only one. Then we have one quaternary carbon that's down here. And that'll be this carbon because it has a carbon there, carbon there, and a double bond to the oxygen up here. No spot for hydrogen. The functional groups we have here are cyclohexane. That is this big old ring right here. Then we also have alkanes. Those are these carbon-carbon single bonds that you're seeing in that ring. The alpha halide is this group right here. It's that carbon connected to a halogen. In this case, it's chlorine. And then we also have a ketone as an oxygen double bonded to a carbon here with two substituents. And another thing to note about the structure it has two degrees of unsaturation. It comes from the ring and the double bond. So one from the ring plus one from the double bond equals two total. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to make a physical structure for 2-chlorocyclohexanone. The molecular formula for that is C6H9ClO. So we have six carbons, those are the black atoms here, nine hydrogens, which are the nine white atoms here. We have one green atom, which is chlorine, and we have one red atom, which is oxygen. Each of these atoms has a certain amount of bonds that they need to make in order to fill uh, the octet rule, which is uh, for the carbon. Uh, the carbon has eight valence electrons, so there's four spots that it needs to fill with a bond. Uh, hydrogen only has two electrons, so it needs to make one bond. Chlorine's the same, but it needs to make one bond. Oxygen needs to make two, because it has four valence electrons. So to start this off, we are going to make the hexane ring. It's also shown over here. I drew out all the atoms over here, and then drew the simplified version over here. So to make the hexane ring, which is just six carbons in a ring, I'm going to connect the atoms like this. All right. So now we have two hexane ring. In order to make two chlorocyclohexanone, we need the oxygen, and that's a double bond. So we're going to be using these pieces to make that bond a double bond. All right, so the oxygen fits on like this. Since it's making one, two bonds, that fulfills what is needed for this oxygen. So it, uh, doesn't have any more valence electrons that needs to bond to something else. So this oxygen is good. Since it's 2-chlorocyclohexanone, we need to have the chlorine next to the oxygen. Now to fill up the rest of these spaces that the carbons need, we are going to add our hydrogens onto them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that uses up all of our atoms that we need. We have uh, four atoms attached to every, or four bonds attached to every carbon, which is what they need. For example, on this one, this one carbon here has the carbon here, the carbon here, the hydrogen here, and the hydrogen over here to fulfill its four bond requirement. And on this carbon over here, so two of the bonds are fulfilled by the carbon, and the other two are fulfilled by the double bond with the oxygen. Each hydrogen only has one thing it's bonded to, and the chlorine is only bonded to one thing as well. So here is our structure. 